So I recently discovered this fabulous Volare and I feel like it compares so much to the Dyson Supersonic but at half the price. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison today and show you guys how these two hair tools work on my curly hair. So let's get right into the video. By the way, I did one side with the Babyliss and one side with the Dyson. I'm gonna talk about each hair tool in a little bit, but I first wanna talk about the products that I use to prep my hair before my blowout. I actually used products from Wella and these products were sent to me in PR, so I wanted to try them out. And I kinda just wanted to try all three of them. So I added a lot of product on my hair and I didn't feel like my hair felt heavy at all and I started my routine with this leave-in conditioner this is the Wella Elements Renewing Leave-In Spray so I wanted to use the leave-in spray first just because this is going to help detangle my hair very well and it's just a nice first step for curly hair I love using leave-in conditioners whenever I blow up my hair and even whenever I leave my hair natural it's just a very nice first step to any routine I then used this product from Wella as well this is the Invigo Nutri Enrich with Goji Berry. So this is another spray that I just added to my hair to prep my hair before my blowout. This is going to moisturize your hair and make your hair a lot more smooth. So yeah, definitely liked using this. I added a pretty good amount of this on all my hair as well. And then I just brushed my hair, just making sure that I spread the product evenly. And then I went in with the third product. I don't know if I added too much product to my hair, but it doesn't feel heavy. My hair actually feels super soft and it looks very shiny and healthy. So I'm very impressed with these products from Wella. Really, really liked using them. The last product that I used was this Invigo Brilliance with Lime Caviar Spray. This is going to make your color look a lot more vibrant. So I actually just dyed my hair not too long ago, maybe like two weeks ago, max. I think maybe even just like a week ago. So this came in handy. Um, it's just making my black hair, by the way, it's a little bit dark. I don't know if you guys can notice, but it's just making my black hair look very nice and vibrant and it's just very shiny and very natural looking. So yeah, really loved using this spray. I'm definitely going to use it again. So moving on to the hair tools. So I did my right side with the Babyliss Volare and then I did my left side with the Dyson Supersonic. The Dyson retails for $400 and the Babyliss retails for $200. So this one is half the price. I really love the design of the Dyson Supersonic. I like it so much. This flat part right here comes in handy whenever you're putting the hair tool down on your table or whatever. It's nice that it stays in place, it doesn't move, and the design of this is just so nice. I mean, it's nice and small, it's not that heavy. The Babyliss is also nice, but I wish that the blow dryer was a little tiny bit smaller. I also wish that this had a flat part as well so that I can just set the hair dryer and it won't move i noticed that i have to set my hair tool like this in between sections and if i leave it on it's just going to kind of blow away and fall so that is something that doesn't happen with the dyson supersonic i love the design i love that i can leave the dyson like this just standing basically in between sections and i leave it on and it doesn't kind of like blow away so really love the design of the dyson supersonic it is a lot better in my opinion than the babyliss but there's other things that i really like about the babyliss so let's get right into some of that i really really love that this gets very very hot it gets maybe a little bit too hot for some people but i really love it i have very thick and curly hair so i need something that is going to get extra hot and i've been using this for a couple of weeks now and i actually don't feel like it gets extremely hot that is like damaging my hair over time i use this in the highest heat setting and the highest speed and i feel like it gets very very hot if you have very like fine and thin hair you might hate this but if you have more of like curly hair more thick hair like me then you might really like this and this gives me such a quick blowout and it leaves my hair so nice and smooth it also has a turbo shot which is so interesting i literally never use it i used it once and i was like this gets way too hot for me it is so unnecessary for me but if you want an extra boost of shine and heat then you're welcome to use the turbo shot if you want it's not my favorite but it's there and if i ever need it i can just use it it's not like i really 
touch it but it's there so that's nice the babulus gets very hot but i definitely feel like it gives me smoother results then the dyson i also feel like it dries my hair a lot quicker than the dyson and overall this one gives me less frizz than the dyson so it does get very hot but i feel like that's what my hair needs i have very curly frizzy thick hair and i need something that is strong and the babulus reminds me so much of the blow dryers that they use at the dominican beauty salons and those just give me the smoothest results so yeah really love how strong the babulus is but now let's move on to attachments so the babulus only brought two attachments i don't know if they have more available online that you can purchase but these are the only two that you get when you buy the babulus so just two nozzle attachments one is a little bit smaller than the other one i always use the bigger one and the dyson brings way more attachments way more attachments you get two nozzle attachments one that's like a little bit more wide and then this one is way thinner so this is like the concentrator and so this is going to give you more concentrated air for smoother results so i definitely like this one a little bit more i used to use this one more in the beginning just because i wasn't used to this very thin nozzle this can get very very hot and it can kind of burn your scalp so practice with this one first and then once you get used to this one move on to the more professional one because this one is going to give you smoother results um so yeah really really love this nozzle attachment i also love that the dyson brings a diffuser attachment let me tell you this one is so freaking good whenever i need a diffuser i reach for this one this is my go-to diffuser it dries my curly hair super quickly and i actually feel like this gives me a nice concentrated dry i've tried other diffuser attachments that are way too big and give me a ton of frizz because the air is just kind of like blowing everywhere but this one is nice and small so it gives you a nice concentrated dry and i have been using it for years i really really love it um the dyson also has this flyaway attachment and they also have the wide tooth comb attachment which is right here so let me grab it real quick i believe these two attachments are sold separately but you can also get the flyaway attachment this is super cool i don't use it that much but i know a lot of people love it and then you can also get the wide tooth comb attachment this is very nice if you want to stretch out your curls but it's also nice to use at the roots just to give yourself some lift at the top some volume so really love using this with my diffuser attachment so there's just so much that you can do with the dyson supersonic they have a lot of cool attachments to choose from and yeah it's definitely my favorite Dyson hair tool, hands down. The Dyson Supersonic is so good, and I feel like it is worth it. If you want a smooth blowout, though, and if you have very curly hair like me, you might want to consider this one. This one gives you very, very smooth results, and I feel like if your hair is strong enough and thick enough to take that heat, then you might really like this, but if you have more wavy hair and maybe more fine hair you might just be fine with the dyson supersonic but this one is double the price so yeah 200 dollars versus 400 dollars. it's a big price difference but they're both so good it really just depends on what you're looking for and what's your hair type i do feel like lately i've been reaching more for the fabulous though for blowouts because it just gives me very very smooth results i mean i see no waves whenever i use the fabulous volare and this side of my hair is way curlier than this side and i use the fabulous on this side on my right side and the dyson on my left side i feel like both sides look very very nice and smooth but this blow dryer really gives me like so much shine it makes my hair look so straight the color of this hair tool is not my favorite they do have a black one but it was sold out so i just ended up getting the red one but this is the first red hair tool that i own and i just don't love the color i mean it's not a big deal but are you guys like that too like do you prefer a certain color for your hair tools like do you prefer the white the black like those neutral colors or like you just don't really care what color you get i mean i don't really care but this is just like bam in your face like red you know it's just not the most pretty color in my opinion but i mean it works super well and i use it all the time so 
yeah I really really like this hair tool if you guys want to shop any of these products or tools I'm gonna to link everything down below in the description box of this video I'm also gonna link down below this round brush it's so good it's from Olivia Garden I got mine from Amazon so I'm gonna link this down below I believe they also sell these at Ulta they're so so good I was sleeping on this brands of hair brushes i mean it's so freaking good this doesn't really like pull my hair and it just makes my curly hair just glide super well so yeah really love this brush but yeah guys that is it for this video i hope you guys liked it if you did please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much Mwah. bye bye <laughs>